Hey, good morning, Daily Dosers. My name is Austin Payne, and I'm one of the high school pastors on the Vista campus. And today we're continuing our Daily Dose series through Matthew chapter 5 in this section called the Beatitudes, where Jesus has given this sermon to his disciples and some people that are listening. He's just kind of rattling off these blessed are those. And we're in verse 8 today, and it says this, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. And I think the first question I, I ask here is, what does it mean to be pure in heart? Right? You have verses in the Bible like Jeremiah chapter 17, 9 that say that the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? And my immediate response to this is like, oh, great. I, I'm not pure in heart and, and I won't be pure in heart because my heart's deceitful above all things. And uh, it, it, so if the pure in heart are the ones that see God, my immediate response is like, I guess I'm not going to see God. And I think what's convicting in the invitation that uh, I hear Jesus giving here is this daily pursuit of a pure heart. In Jeremiah chapter 2, 15 chapters before that really encouraging declaration, uh, in verse 13 of chapter 2, it says, My people have committed two sins. One, they have forsaken me, the spring of living water, and they've dug their own cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold water. And then the second one is immediately after that. You could read it. But I think the point that I want to get at is I actually got to stand in one of these cisterns over in Israel. We get to go with the school of ministry every once in a while. And um, at standing in this cistern over in Israel, this this kind of cavern in the ground when there were these cracks in the walls or when it wasn't unsealed, the water would just seep into the earth and no amount of filling this cistern would work because it was broken. It was this this cistern that did it wasn't filling its purpose. And Jesus is using this analogy here to say, I'm the spring, the source of living water, and you've exchanged the source of living water for a broken cistern. And the invitation here for, for those that are pure in heart, for they will see God is, we must go to the source of purity. We must go to the source of living water if we ever hope to see God. And I think there's this beckoning, this calling, this invitation of, I must daily come to God so that my heart can get purified so that I can see him. It's, it's this process. It's this equation of, as I come to God, he will make my heart more pure and I will see more and more and more of him. I love this quote. The, there's an author named Peter Cesaro, and he says, we cannot give what we do not possess. Doing for God in a way that is proportionate to being with God is the only pathway to a pure heart and seeing God. And that's so challenging and convicting to me because sometimes I feel like I, I just try to do a lot for God. And whether it's my ministry or my service for him or Maybe, maybe even sometimes opening up his word or spending time in prayer, it's like, all right, God, like this is, this is for you. And, and Cesaro here is saying, no, 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 you have, to, you have to do things for God, absolutely, but it has to be proportionate with our being with God. And I think that's the, the invitation to come back to the source, to this living water. And man, if we're doing life with God, or sorry, if we're not doing life with God, then we have no d business doing anything for God. And I think that's when we find ourselves in, in broken cisterns. And that's when we find ourselves burnt out and tired and not seeing God and feeling distant is when we're trying to do a lot, all these things for God, but we aren't just pausing and spending time with God. And so, man, may the, the verse eight, the blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. May that not be something that's disheartening, but may you hear it as an invitation today to how do we have a pure heart? We have to come and we have to sit at the feet of Jesus. And we have to spend time with him. Because the more time we spend with him, the more our doing for him will be worth it because it's proportionate. And the more we come to his feet and the more we come to this source of living water, the, the more pure our heart will be and the clearer and clearer and clearer this picture of God will be. So Daily Dosers, my challenge for myself and for you today is let's, let's sit with God. Let's, let's hit the pause button on doing things for him and let's make sure we're spending time with him, both in his word and in prayer. Thanks, Daily Dosers. We'll catch you tomorrow.